Welcome back to another video of Brightify. In this video, we are going to talk about metformin and the side effects that can happen from taking it. Metformin is a prescription drug used to treat diseases such as type 2 diabetes and polycystic ovary syndrome, also known as PCOS. People with type 2 diabetes have blood sugar levels that rise higher than normal levels. Metformin isn't a cure-all for diabetes. Instead, it aids in the maintenance of healthy blood sugar levels. Metformin works in several ways to help reduce glucose in the bloodstream. One of them is by decreasing glucose production from the liver. Another one is by decreasing intestinal absorption of glucose. And finally, it increases glucose uptake by your organs and tissues by improving insulin sensitivity. While it can be effective at managing the symptoms of diabetes and PCOS, the risks may outweigh the benefits, especially if you use it for a long time. So in today's video, we'll talk about 7 important side effects of metformin. Make sure you watch the video until the end, because we'll also discuss metformin alternatives and how you can avoid these side effects. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Number 7. Nausea and Vomiting one of the most common side effects of metformin is nausea, with roughly 30% of users reporting this symptom. It usually happens during the initial stage of the treatment. However, a small percentage of people experience these symptoms after a few weeks of the initial dose. Number 6. Gas and Bloating. This is another common side effect of metformin and the reason why many people who are prescribed it stop taking it. This symptom often occurs with diarrhea. Because metformin makes it difficult for the body to absorb, store, and digest certain nutrients. Diarrhea will subside with continued use of metformin. Number 5. Lactic Acidosis. This is the most important side effect to be aware of when taking metformin. Metformin can cause lactic acid to accumulate in the blood circulation, and this can be a serious concern if your body isn't clearing it properly. So metformin use is not preferable in patients who are at higher risk of getting lactic acidosis. These include patients with heart failure, kidney disease, and liver disease. Number 4. Heartburn and Dyspepsia. Dyspepsia is another gastrointestinal side effect that can be controlled by taking your metformin with meals. According to a study, up to 12% of people on the regular formula reported heartburn and headache. They also had flu-like symptoms, sweating, heart palpitations, and rashes. Number 3. Fatigue. As we said before, metformin makes it difficult for the body to absorb and digest certain nutrients. These include vitamin B9, vitamin B12, and coenzyme Q10. All these nutrients are important for the red blood cells to function efficiently. Red blood cells are responsible for transporting oxygen throughout your body. As a result of poorly working red blood cells, you are unable to carry oxygen to the tissues and organs adequately, leaving you tired and weak. This condition is known as anemia. Number 2. Tingling sensation in feet and palms. Vitamin B12 deficiency is associated with the long-term use of metformin. The tingling sensation can occur over time, as vitamin B12 is a key contributor to the metabolic pathway that makes the fatty substance myelin. Myelin surrounds your nerves as a form of insulation and protection. Therefore, without vitamin B12, your nervous system is unable to function properly and become extra sensitive. Number 1. Taste Changes. Patients on metformin therapy frequently experience a metallic taste or they may also have a sensation or taste of acid in their mouth, which could be related to the heartburn we discussed before. Some patients may also complain of a loss of taste. These are some of the common and important side effects. However, metformin can also cause headache, muscle pain, low blood sugar levels, runny nose, low testosterone levels, and excessive sweating. Now let's talk about metformin alternatives and how you can avoid these side effects. Due to the adverse effects of metformin and other anti-diabetic drugs, some people prefer to control type 2 diabetes through lifestyle changes. Even those who have no side effects may want to avoid long-term use of medication. These changes include dietary modifications. According to a 2017 study, modifying one's diet can help to reduce type 2 diabetes symptoms and prevent complications. You want to eat a low-carb diet to help improve insulin resistance. And also you should cut out processed foods that are high in calories, added fats, and sugar without nutritional value. Exercising regularly. Exercise can help you lose weight by increasing insulin sensitivity. A 2014 study found that a single exercise session can help to relieve symptoms of type 2 diabetes temporarily. 
Losing weight. Decreasing just 5 to 10% of your body fat will help improve your blood sugar levels. According to a 2018 study, nearly half of the participants were able to reverse their type 2 diabetes and stop using anti-diabetic drugs following a 12-month weight loss program. Stopping smoking and limiting or avoiding alcohol consumption can also help control symptoms. Now we know a person can safely discontinue taking this medication if they can control their type 2 diabetes through long-term lifestyle changes. But you should speak to your doctor before stopping metformin or any other anti-diabetic medication. They can give personalized advice based on your medical history. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.